Hi everybody, welcome to the very session guys. I'm Preksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy and I welcome you all here. I'm sorry guys that uh, there was a certain problem. That is why the session was being shifted at 2.15. And I'm really sorry for being this much late but I hope that you guys would understand everything. Hi everybody, hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome to the session everybody. Hey um, Dilraj, hi Mahima, hi everyone, hi Yash. A very good afternoon to everybody guys i hope that you all are starting well i welcome you all to this very session so students today we are going to do like uh this is for grade nine students today we are going to do word to word explanation for the chapter is wherein the storyteller so guys please make sure that you all understand this so well because this is really one of the very important sessions that you all please keep in your mind i'm sorry students for the lag can you all see me well now Hi everybody, am I visible to everybody now? Alright people, so now we are moving ahead guys. I am Preksha Sharma. Let me give a very brief introduction about myself. I have done MA in English from Delhi University and for the past few years I have been guiding a lot of students to be very very amazing in their academics and to be very good in their communication skills as well and I am sure that I am going to help each one of you with this as well no guys there is no mentee so students you guys can avail flat 10 percent discount by using my code psh10 on the very platform unacademy plus this is one of the platforms wherein you guys can meet me and definitely you guys are going to uh, like be guided so properly okay we have this telegram channel which is especially been designed for all of you which is what guys which is like daily.me slash chat we have your group which is an academy class 9 and 10 please make sure that you guys are joining this why because, because this is really really important for all of you students you know you can very well see right in the description of the class that there is no mentee okay you see the word word to word explanation do you understand what does it mean it means that i am going to explain the chapter word by word all right, if mente would be there, you will obviously see the very word, the mention of the word mente right in the very thumbnail. But since it's not being given, that means there's no mente and that is so obvious to understand. Do you get that everybody? So now students, I am literally telling you all, please do not keep on asking the same questions because that really breaks the flow. All right, that would be really so very kind of you if you're not asking me the same question again and again. Okay, people. All right, now we are moving ahead. We have this Bugs Bounty, everybody, opportunity for all the learners to report any inappropriate content in the video. Be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize, everybody. Report any inappropriate content using the form which is given in the description. So there is this opportunity for all of you. You guys can report any content which is not appropriate for all of you. All right, everybody. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I am very well. Thank you so much. And what's new with us, guys? Ask a doubt feature, you know. You can ask us unlimited doubts at any time. You go, and you are going to get high quality video solutions in both English as well as Hindi. And you will receive exact matches for your questions. You will obtain instant and accurate solution to lakhs of question, And you will get assistance with homework as well. How are you going to ask us a doubt? Step 1 is click on ask a doubt feature. Step 2 is click or tear or select. Take a picture or choose from gallery. Step 3 is click or select a picture of your very question. Step 4 is that you have to click, uh, sorry, crop to highlight one specific question and then step 5 is choose a subject if it's math or science and then sit tight, we are going to give you the solution. What are the do's and don'ts everyone? Post only one doubt at once, post clear legible images, capture all the sub options of the MCQs. If a question is any sub part, post them separately and not as a part of the same question, post printed text directly from a book or soft copy, post doubts using an academy app only. Do not post multiple doubts in a single image. All right, everybody. And also, guys, do not post handwritten questions, blood images, or incomplete questions. That's not welcoming. Now, an academy subscription features guide. You get to learn live from the comfort of your home. Unlimited access to the courses. Top educators of India on one single platform. Regular doubt clearing sessions. Exhaustive coverage of the syllabus, mentorship, and guidance. Study material practices, live test series, batch courses. Daily practice session, weekly mock test series, live quizzes, and daily MCQ and subjective test series would be there for all of you. You guys can go with any sort of plan that uh, is really good for all of you, okay? 
if you think that 18 months is fine for all of you you guys can choose it uh, choose it the actual amount is 20000 but using my code will make it 18000 for all of you and this is just 1000 rupees per month make sure guys that you are definitely going for the best because you know now your examinations they are going to be completely different okay term 1 and term 2 is there for all of you right everybody so this is really really important for all of you to pay attention uh, on what you are going to get in your examination all right people i'm very well aware thank you so much then moving ahead guys we have this iconic subscription which is again for all our dear students and here you will have one-on-one -on -one interaction live doubt solving sessions weekly report pairing connecting study planner and all benefits of an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic subscription so what you guys have to do is you have to just discuss it with your parents or with whomsoever you want to discuss it about for example if you guys go for 24 months the amount is 48,000 using my code will make it 43,200 for all of you this is just 1800 rupees per month so when you guys are going to check the very weightage of the very benefits that you guys are getting after paying the amount that is more than the very thing uh, that is more than the weightage of the benefits that you are sorry that is more than the weightage of the amount that you are paying okay guys so now anybody can be a subscriber on an academy plus in the very pain uh, payment method you have to choose pain paths option just check our emis which is zero cost emis read our faqs psh 10 is the code guys go for it Fifteen thousand is the amount you can pay in two parts that is 7500 each or three parts that is 5000 each for all of you which is uh, you you have this option pain paths option for more than 12 months subscription only so talk to an academy expert right today and an academy combat guys this is for class 9 and 10 you can win scholarships worth uh, one crore video solutions by top educators 30 questions in 45 minutes free live test on android every sunday 11 a.m and roll right away guys this is really important this gives you all a very good practice all right hi katyani hello dear and uh, students we have this offer for both iconic and plus subscribers this is valid only till uh, 16th of july offers are like if you go for 12 15 and 12 months you will have two months for create, uh, free cbse subscription and two months for free creative corner subscription and if you go for 24 36 and 48 months you have four months each i mean for your cbse as well as your creative corner subscription and six months each in case of your 60 72 and 84 month subscription which is really an amazing one so offer is valid only for first thousand subscribers Let's go for it everybody 10% off on an academy plus an iconic subscription psh 10 is the code make use of it download the an academy app right away guys and make sure that you guys are heading towards the best try all of the features for free psh 10 is the code so let's crack it together guys do not forget to like share and subscribe the very channel everybody all right everyone that is great katyani that's great all right people so we are going to deal with the story which is iswar and the storyteller uh, which has been written by rk lakshman so would you please like to give me an insight what do you guys find in this very particular story can anyone uh, just tell me like what exactly the story is all about what do you guys specially understand about this come on everyone what do you guys understand about it like what is your personal understanding about this very particular chapter how do you find this chapter everybody hi everyone this is a funny story all right okay so you find it funny anushka what about others everybody so like if for everyone is it really that funny everybody is it really funny all right let's see that what the story is all about okay we are going uh, line by line for uh, for the entire chapter make sure that you guys are listening to me so carefully if there is any uh, doubt uh, regarding anything you you guys just let me know about this okay everybody okay people all right go story right you can say that so one night mahendra woke up from his sleep and saw a dark cloudy form he broke out in a cold sweat was it a ghost one night mahendra woke up from his sleep and saw a dark cloudy form so he broke out into a cold sweat so uh, it's a repetition guys you can ignore it all right we are moving ahead with the next thing now everybody and just have a look all right that is we are going line by line for the entire chapter just understand this so carefully all right people so the story was narrated to ganesh by a young man mahinder by name all right so now this is one of the stories that we are going to read about that we are going to talk about and this story was being told to ganesh so he is the person who is listening to story 
all right everybody and he was being told this story by a person whose name was mahindra make sure that you guys are definitely noting the initial letter of their names because it's a proper noun and proper noun always takes your capital letters all right everyone clear so he was a junior supervisor in a firm which offered on higher super, uh, supervisors at various types of construction sites factories bridges dams and so on so the person who is going to tell the story he is basically a junior supervisor all right what do you mean by a supervisor everybody can you all tell me please come on everyone what do you mean by a supervisor a person who supervises everything a person who sees everything right everybody is this clear to everyone guys so a person who supervises everything right so he was basically a junior a junior supervisor who used to like uh, like give uh, offer on higher supervisors uh, which were at various construction sites for example factories bridges dams and so on mahinder's job was to keep an eye on the activities at the work site so now keeping an eye basically means like uh, keep under careful observation so he used to see everything that everything is going to be so fine all right he had to keep moving from place to place and every now and then as ordered by his head office from a coal mining area to a railway bridge construction site from there after a few months to a chemical plant which was coming up somewhere so now he was one of the supervisors who had to like visit different places why because he was into the business of construction all right and that is why he had to visit the different construction site why that because that was a part of his job all right so now what do we see that he was a bachelor bachelor basically means that he was not married all right his needs were very simple this is a this is a question that can come in your examination everybody that his needs that is his basic needs they were very very simple and he was able to adjust himself to all kinds of odd conditions by odd conditions we basically have mean that in any of the situations in any of the conditions he used to adjust himself okay he didn't used to ask for anything particular he didn't used to ask for anything which is really different are you all understanding this Ash, because the thing is, otherwise, how would you guys come to know that what is being offered by an academy? And you may be the old student, but there are a lot of other students who really need to know about it. All right. So now, instead of asking me this question, would you please listen to me what I'm telling you? Because uh, you will not have to answer the question that uh, you are asking me right now. You will have to answer the questions that I'm telling you all right now. Okay. The questions from this very particular chapter would be coming in your examination, and not from the question that you are asking me. So I hope I'm very much clear now. And would you please listen to me? Okay. Yeah, Kathy, any the character sketch can can uh, can definitely come in your examination, which is uh, going to be a part of the subjective paper. All right, people. All right. Okay. So what are we going to exactly say here is, um. Matt, uh, like he was able to uh, like adjust in any situation, whether it was an ill-equipped circuit uh, house or a makeshift canvas tent in the middle of a stone quarry. So he used to live anywhere. Okay, stone quarry as in like where there were only stones all around, and he could have like made a canvas. I mean, he could have just put a tent, and he would have lived there. It didn't matter to him if it there was light or not. Ill-equipped circuit basically means if there was no proper uh, electricity. Okay. But one asset he had was his cook. Asset as in like a person who was always there with him. That was cook. All right, people. And the name of the cook was Iswaran. So the cook was quite attached to Mahindra and followed him uncomplainingly wherever he was posted. He cooked for Mahindra. So he was a cook and he always cooked for Mahindra and he used to do that uh, like uh, without asking any question. He cooked for Mahindra, washed his clothes, and chatted away with his master at night. He could weave out endless stories and anecdotes on varied subjects. So basically, meant that he used to like say anything. All right, like he used to like talk about any story, and he used to talk about any subject with Mahindra. All right, people. Now what happened next is that Iswaran also had an amazing capacity to produce vegetables and cooking ingredients seemingly out of nowhere. So what do we see that uh, Iswaran, wherever they used to go, like he used to keep on uh, shifting the places. So wherever he used to go, uh, he had that capability of arranging the vegetables and the cooking ingredients. Okay, that was not a tough task for him. He used to be uh, like he used to able to get that so easily. In the middle of a desolate landscape, that desolate basically means that un, uh, uninhabited, that is wherever people were not living, with no shops visible for miles around. So there, if even if there were no shops like miles around, and even if there was nothing around them, 
still he could arrange all the vegetables and the other ingredients all right people okay is that clear harsh this is a, uh, in english session so dear i'm speaking very sp uh, simple english so would you please try to listen to me because uh, this is really one of the very important activities for your internal assessment as well and i think the other students they are not really finding it so difficult to understand me because the story is pretty easy and this is also going to help you to just grab the very knowledge of listening well so i request you to please try to listen to me okay that this may help you all right is that clear okay so he would miraculously conjure up this is very important sentence miraculously basically means in a remarkable and extremely lucky manner okay and conjure up means make something appear using magic so this is literally amazing the most delicious dishes made with fresh vegetables within an hour of arriving at the zinc sheets uh, shelter at the new workplace so now the new workplace had that zinc sheet shelter i mean the shelter was made up of zinc sheet so students these questions can come in your examinations please so make sure that you are paying attention to each and every bit of it next is mahindra would be would be up early in the morning and leave for work after breakfast carrying some prepared food with him meanwhile isvaran would tidy up the shed wash the clothes and have a leisurely bath pouring several buckets of water over his head so that means that now the very routine has been described wherein like he used to get up and then mahindra left for breakfast uh, sorry leave for work after having the breakfast and then he would carry some of the food that was being prepared by isvaran and isvaran also used to do what he used to just have a leisurely bath that means relaxed bath okay like after he had done all the things after that he used to laugh okay and then pouring several buckets of water over his head so this is important guys that several hair is working as a determiner which is giving you an extra information that the amount of water that was being poured on him was in too much abundance and muttering a prayer all the while it would be lunch time by then after eating he would read for a while before do uh, dozing off dozing off basically mean to fall asleep the book was usually some popular tamil thriller running to hundreds of pages its imaginative descriptions and narrative flourishes would hold iswaran in thrall so basically flourishes means grow or develop in a healthy way and enthrall means the state of being in someone's part so he used to like uh, talk about this like i mean tamil thriller and running back to like hundreds of pages and its imaginative descriptions and everything so that was his very part of the day okay and he used to enjoy that all right people his own descriptions were greatly influenced by the tamil author so whatever he used to describe everybody that was being like a largely influenced by the tamil authors and when he was narrating even the smallest of incidents he would try to work in suspense and a surprise ending into the account so now when he was like he used to narrate the incidents when a story was going on he used to talk about everything even the small incident he would try to work in suspense and a surprise okay like he had that art of telling the story which used to make it really really very very interesting okay for example instead of saying that he had come across an uprooted tree on the highway he would say with eyebrows suitably arched and hands held out in a dramatic gesture the road was deserted and i was all alone so he had that very art of like delivering the very story he knew how to tell it he knew the way of telling it all right people this is really really important to understand so well just pay attention to each and every word okay then we see suddenly i spotted something that looked like an enormous bushy beast lying sprawl across the road i was half inclined to turn and go back but as i came closer i saw that it was a fallen tree with its dry branches spread out so here his very description ends and this is really a very artistic description okay like if he wanted he would have just ended in a simple sentence but that was not his choice his choice was what his choice was to like talk in such a way that really uh, like looks very much surprising and amazing to hear as well so mind would stretch himself back in his canvas chair and listen to iswaran's tales uncritically uncritically means with a lack of consideration of whether something is right or wrong he just used to listen to his stories okay people so the place i come from is famous for timber iswaran would begin 
there's a richly wooded forest all around the logs are hauled on the lorries by the elephants they are huge well-fed beasts and when they turn wild even the most experienced mahat is not able to control them after this prologue ishwaran would launch into an elaborate anecdote involving an elephant so basically students that means that he started a story wherein he's going to talk about the elephants and he's saying that he's talking about the a very richly wooded forest which which had a lot of wood everybody and the students like here the the logs are hauled basically means that they are pulled or dragged with effort or force onto the very lorries by the elephants only and the elephants have been described by Ishwaran as what as well-fed beasts I mean why well-fed uh, bees because they were being fed so nicely and that is why they are being being called as well-fed all right people and like here mahat basically means a person who works with rides or tends an elephant i mean a person who takes care of an elephant is known as this and he was like when they turn wild even the most experienced one is not able to control them so they are being called as bees because like if they turn wild if they go crazy if they go mad nobody can control them even not the person who tends them or who takes care of them on a daily basis okay and after he had described this prologue prologue as in like the very uh, information in the very beginning he just goes into an elaborate anecdote anecdote basically means the extended description all right people now see here one day a tusker escaped from the timber yard and began to roam about stamping on bushes tearing a wild creepers and breaking branches at will so here a tusker basically refers to like an elephant escape from the timber yard there was a yard there was a space wherein he was uh, living and he escaped from there okay like he ran away uh, ran away from there and he began to roam about roam about basically meant that he was beginning to walk to go without a fixed purpose or direction okay and he was stamping on the bushes tearing up the wild creepers creepers are the tall trees okay and like uh, breaking branches at will so you know sir how an elephant behaves when it goes mad okay Ishwaran would get so caught in the very excitement of his own story that he would get up from the floor and jump about stamping his feet in emulation of the mad elephant emulation basically mean effort to match or surpass a person or achievement typically by imitation so he used to get so very much involved in the stories that he used to tell that he just used to get up and then he used to jump by himself because there was a lot of excitement on him all right people is this making sense so now the elephants reach the outskirts of the town that is the very outer part of the city breaking the fences down like match sticks so now fences as in the very boundaries and they were breaking it why because they had turned very much wild and they were breaking it as if it was just a match stick which was very small and you could have broken it easily all right he would continue it came into the main road and, and smashed all the stalls selling fruits mud pots and clothes remember these these are good questions for your one marker so smashed basically means like badly breaking everything that is coming that was coming into the very way of elephant people ran helter skelter helter skelter basically means like they were just moving here and there in the confusion because they didn't tend to understand that what exactly happened all right people and in panic so see there is an exclamation mark which is showing that there was a strict panic and the elephant now entered a school ground where children were playing breaking through the brick wall so now the elephant had broken the brick wall and he had entered into a school wherein the children were playing okay all the boys ran into the classrooms and shut the doors tight the bees grunted and wandered about pulling out the football goal post tearing down the volleyball net kicking and flattening the drum flattening means that making or becoming flat okay the drum kept for water and uprooting the shrub so this was completely what this was completely a scene which was leading to the destruction very important question from your examination point of view that what destruction was being done by the elephant when he entered into the school remember each and everything remember each and every word every word counts for your examination do not forget anything all right now meanwhile all the teachers had climbed up to the terrace of the school building from there they helplessly watched the depredations depredations means the act of attacking the way the very elephant was attacking uh, everything okay there was not a soul below on the ground the streets were empty as if the inhabitants of the entire town had suddenly disappeared so there was nobody because the elephant he, he had completely gone mad and he was just moving here and there and leading to the destruction so there was nobody on the floor and it appeared to the people 
people as if like the entire city or the entire town is completely uh, like uh, completely away from the people as if nobody lives there inhabitants basically means a person who lives at some place but there was no one and that is why it, it appeared to them that the place is completely different okay so I was studying in the junior class at that time and was watching the whole drama from the rooftop. tube. I don't know what came over me suddenly. I grabbed a cane from the hands of one of the teachers and ran down the stairs and into the open. So the elephant grunted and gnatsingly, that means like threateningly, swung a branch of tree which it uh, like it held in its trunk. It stamped its feet, kicking up a lot of mud and dust. It looked frightening. So now here is where he's talking about the very fact that he was in his junior class and he had taken a very cane from the very teacher and he went to him and there what did he see that the elephant was carrying what elephant was carrying this branch of tree uh, in its trunk and it stemmed its feet kicking up a lot of mud and dust it looks frightening. So it was very much threatening okay but i moved slowly towards a stick in hand people were watching the scene hypnotized from nearby house stop so hypnotized as in like they were capturing i mean there was this attention thing that was going on like something major was happening now there was a huge wild animal who was completely going mad okay so from nearby house stop so the elephants looked at me red eyed okay uh, sorry, elephant looked at me, red-eyed, remember this, ready to rush towards me. It lifted its trunk and trumpeted loudly. At that time, I moved forward and mustering all my force, wagged its third toenail on the quake. The beast looked stunned for a moment, then it shivered from head to toe and collapsed. So this is really an important thing again, okay? Keep this in your mind that what exactly happened, that at that moment, like the, uh, the very elephant was looking at him at Ishwaran in such a red-eyed manner as a full fill with anger. And that moment, he more uh, moved further, uh, further and mustering basically means collecting all his force back that's third toenail that is tried forcefully with the sharp blow on his toenail and the elephant was stunned it for a moment as in like the uh, the very elephant was quiet for a moment and then it shivered from its head to toe sorry head to foot all right like there was this some sort of shivering in him and then what happened that he collapsed that is that he was lying on the floor so at this point, Ishwaran would leave the story unfinished and get a mumbling, mumbling as in like speaking in his own mouth. I will be back after lighting the gas and warming up the dinner. So since he is a cook, so he had to like cook the food as well for Mahindra. Mahindra who had been listening with rapt, rapt basically means completely fascinated attention would be left hanging. Now he was totally into the very story, the way he used to tell the stories that was really amazing. When he returned, Iswaran would not pick up the thread of the story right away. Mahinder would have to remind him that the conclusion was pending. So that means he had that art of telling. Like when he came back after guessing, uh, uh, sorry, after lighting the gas, so he would not immediately begin the story. Instead, he began it uh, like uh, instead Mahinder had to remind him. Well, a veterinary doctor was summoned to revive the animal. Iswaran would shrug casually. So he was like that I had striked such a wild animal on the very floor. And then a veterinary doctor. So veterinary is a doctor who is a doctor of animals. He was being called. All right. Summoned basically means to call someone. Okay. To revive the animal means to restore him. Like to, to make him come to the very consciousness and two days later it was led away by its meha to the jungle so now now the the very um, uh, elephant like it was fine and afterward what happened is that the person who used to tend him the person who used to take care of him he was being called and he had taken after two days all right you have to remember this two days later that means after two days he was being taken away all right people well how did you manage to do it this one how did you bring down the beast it has something to do with the japanese art i think sir karatu or jujitsu it is called okay this is important to remember guys this is an art that he talked about this can come in your examination i read about it somewhere it temporarily paralyzes the nervous system you see so he was a bit aware of these things as well he said that uh, here the very um hi nikonj hey pickaboo so like it actually uh, temporarily paralyzes the nervous system as well. Not a day passed without each one recounting some story packed with adventure, horror and suspense. Whether the story was credible or not, credible as in like whether it was real or not, whether it had some view or not here, the thing is, the other thing is that uh, like uh, Mahinder enjoyed listening to it. He it didn't matter to him whether it was right, whether it was wrong, or what actually the case was. It didn't matter to him at all. What really mattered to him is that uh, he just enjoyed the fact. 
Mahindra enjoyed listening to it because of the inimitable way it was being told. Like the way, like he had told about this, like in such a unique manner with all his excitement and he was even jumping also to like a completely expressive. All right, everybody. Is this clear to everyone? And then Ishwaran seemed to more than make up for the absence of a TV in Mahindra's, uh, Mahindra's living quarters. So TV, the television, the source of entertainment was not needed. Why? Because Ishwaran was enough to make him like very much relaxed or entertain him. So one morning when Mahindra Hav was having breakfast, Ishwaran asked, can I make something special for dinner tonight? After all day in an uh, auspicious day, auspicious basically means the very favorable day. According to tradition, we prepare various delicacies to feed the spirit of our ancestors today. And so now, like they were talking about a day, like according to the tradition in various delicacies, that is like something pleasing to eat. We are going to feed something nice to our ancestors. That night, Mahindra enjoyed the most delicious dinner and complimented Ishwaran on his culinary skills. That means on his very skills of cooking. Okay. He seemed very pleasant, but unexpectedly launched into a most garish account involving the supernatural. Now we see he's going to tell something supernatural. You know, sir, this entire factory area we are occupying once was a burial ground. So now another story, which is actually going to be a supernatural something which would, which may include some sort of ghost or some sort of like uh, magic, something like this. All right, everybody. Is this clear to everybody? So here he started. Mahinder was jogged out of the pleasant reverie he had drifted into after the satisfying meal. So now he had such an amazing meal. It was really tasty. He enjoyed it. And immediately after that, if you're telling me something which is really very much like a ghost related, I'll be afraid, okay? I couldn't just expect that you'll be coming up with such a story, right? So what happened is jogged out basically meant that he was really feeling very anxious. Like, what are you talking about? So every here refers to a daydream, all right? He had drifted into, drifted is basically straight to another subject. That is like it was completely a switch to something that was not expected after such a satisfying meal, after such a good meal. So I knew on the first day itself when I saw a human skull lying on the path, even now I come across a number of skulls and bones. So now he is talking about skulls and bones, which is really very much dangerous. He went on to narrate how he sometimes so ghost at night. Now he is talking about ghosts, okay? And this is really going to be scary. I'm not easily frightened by these things, sir. I'm a brave fellow. So students, when you guys are going to talk about each for a no, try to go. Like you see when, when I was explaining all this to all of you, there are certain phrases that I have marked here. That is for all your good. I mean, whenever you guys are writing in answers, you guys can just code it down in your answers because this will help you all to just score good marks. And also this time in your term one and term two, you guys are going, sorry, in your term one, you guys are going to have your MCQs, right, everybody? So those MCQs, they are going to be helpful only and only if you guys are studying the chapter in detail. If you guys are not studying the chapter in detail, guys, this is going to be really problematic. Let me be very honest about this. All right, people? But one horrible uh, ghost of a woman which appears off and on at midnight during the full moon. So now this is really one of the scary stories wherein we are talking about the fact that there is this full moon going on and there is a woman like a horrible ghost. I mean very terrible and very scary. It is an ugly creature with matted hair and a shriveled face. So matted is tangled into a thick mass. Okay, like very thick hair and a shriveled face means wrinkled or shrunken face. So it's a complete description of what guys it's a complete description of a funny and a story which is talking especially only about your um, uh, what is it about your um, ghost right so like a skeleton holding a fetus in its arms and this is really important guys this is really funny as well this is simile here because here the comparison is here by the use of the word like so it's like a skeleton holding a fetus in its arms okay all right people so mahinder shivered at the description and interrupted rather sharply you are crazy swear and there are no such things as ghosts or spirits so now it's all a figment of your imagination. Figment basically means a thing that someone believes to be, okay? That is not real. This is something different. Get your digestive system examined and maybe your head as well. You're talking nonsense. So all these things, they appear to be nonsensical, all right? Nonsensical to your, uh, to Mahindra. And he was like, all these things really don't matter, okay? So you guys must not be talking about this, okay? 
so he left the room and retired for the night retired for the night as in like now he was going to his bed uh, to his bed expecting Iswaran to sulk for a couple of days sulk as in to be silent out of some disappointment and not to tell such stories which is really very much boring boring as in which is really very much scary and doesn't seem to be real but the next morning he was surprised to find the cook as cheerful and talkative as ever so he thought that he may be uh, like very uh, quiet or something like that but no he was doing very good he was being talkative he was cheerful from that day on mahinder for all his brave talk went to bed and with a certain unease so now there was this very much uneasiness in him he was a bit scared now why every night he peered into the darkness outside through the window next to his bed trying to make sure that there was no movement of dark shapes in the vicinity but he could only see a sea of darkness with the twinkling lights of the factory miles away so now he just used to just peep out of the window next to his bed trying to make sure that there is no movement like there is no dark shape there is no women like histor uh, uh, women like very terrible ghost shape moving out because there was this uneasiness and him now because of the story that was being told by uh, Ishwaran but he couldn't see anything he could only see the very lights of the factory which were at a distance okay people so he had always liked to admire the milk white landscape on full moon lights but after hearing Ishwaran's story of the female ghost he avoided looking out of window altogether when the moon was full so you know like he told what he told no like on a very full moon night there's a woman who appears like this right everybody he does say that so now he didn't used to look out of the window whenever it was a full moon so one night Mahindra was woken up from a sleep by a low moon close to his window so now he saw a very he he sorry he heard a very low sound okay near window and at first he put it down uh, uh sorry at first he put it down to a cat prowling around for mice so now when he was in sleep and he could hear something he was like okay let it be it may be a cat prowling that is maybe a cat is moving restlessly from uh like uh looking for mice okay everybody but the sound was too guttural for a cat that is it was harsh sound it was not that soft sound made by a cat okay he resisted the curiosity to look out of uh, lest he should behold a side which would stop his heart so he wanted to look out but he couldn't why because he was in a fear but the wailing became louder and less feline feline as in feline is the very uh category of the cat right so now he he uh he heard that the wailing the very cries that were just just now entering into his uh, uh ears they were now becoming louder and louder and they didn't seem to be like that of a cat sound okay he could not resist the temptation anymore and now he wanted to look out so lowering himself to the level of the window cell that means like if it's a complete window okay he was just looking like if the window is from here to here so he was looking from here okay so that he would not be feeling fearful he looked out at the white sheet of the moonlight outside so white sheet basically refers to the very moonlight that was falling right so now there not too far away was a dark cloudy form clutching a bundle so there was a dark cloudy form clutching basically means like grasping something like grasping something very tightly so there was a bundle okay when the broke into a cold sweat and fell back on the pillow panting so now he saw a figure okay which was holding something and he was in a cold sweat cold sweat refers to the sweat that uh, when you are perspiring why because of some sort of fear and he fell back on the pillow panting panting basically means out of breath now he was completely scared as he gradually recovered from the ghastly experience ghastly as in something that creates horror he began to reason with himself and finally concluded that it must have been some sort of auto suggestion some trick that his subconscious has played on him so now he thought that just because iswaran had told me the story so maybe because of that i'm seeing something okay by the time he had got up in the morning, had a bath and come out to have his breakfast, the horror of the previous night had faded from his memory. So that is now completely gone. Whatever he saw, it has completely gone from his mind. Ishwaran greeted him at the door with his lunch packet and his bag. Okay, just as Mahindra was stepping out, Ishwaran grinned and said, so grin basically means smiling broadly and said, sir, remember the other day when I was telling you about the female ghost with the fetus in its arm? You were so angry with me for imagining things. Well, you saw her yourself last night. I came running, hearing the sound of moaning that was coming from your room. So now, Iswaran was like, that sir, you were not right about it. You were very much like angry and not listening to me properly. But last night, I had heard that moaning sound from your room. So now, you yourself have seen it. So a chill went down Mahinda's spine. That means that now he was in fear. He did not wait for Iswaran to complete his sentence. 
Okay, he hurried away to his office and handed in his papers, resolving to leave the haunted place the very next day. So now this is what exactly happened. All right, people, do you all understand that? Everybody, is that clear to everyone right there? Hey, Einstein, you're very late to say hi to me. Is this clear, everyone? So I hope that you all have understood the very story. Please try to read it on your own. If there is anything that you have not understood, just let me know about it, okay? And also do not forget to enroll in the very batch that is going on for all of you on the very plus platform. If you have not taken the subscription yet, go for it, guys, because the courses, they are going on and you guys must be a part of all those things because your exams are approaching. Do not delay your success. Okay, guys, so do kindly like it, share it with your friends and make sure that you guys are definitely subscribing the channel. Hit the bell button and thank you, everybody. So let's crack it together. All right, people, there is no mentee. Is there any question related to the very chapter? Uh, anyone? Do you want to ask me anything, anybody? Is there any question, guys? Is there any question, people? Menti is not there, guys. There is no menti. There is no menti, people. There is no menti. All right. Anecdotes basically refers to a, a very interesting kind of a story. A, a, a story which is interesting as well as which is a very short story. All right, people. Okay, guys. So, take care. Bye-bye. We are going to meet soon. Take